Good morning. Great way to start the week. I love the sunshine. We had some of that over the weekend. In fact, a lot of it, especially on Sunday when we had a high of 42 degrees here in Rochester. Temperature right now 20 degrees colder than it was at midday on Sunday. We reached that high temperature. We're looking northward with our Gwaltney Group camera from the studio on Signal Hill, Northwest Rochester. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. We're talking about sunshine today, colder weather today, and progressively colder as we move toward the middle part of the week. So it's going to be uh, more February-like with these temperatures over the next a few days, uh, but so far a dry pattern. Today looking pretty good. Uh, if you have travel plans, no issues with that today. The next couple of days look similarly chilly but dry uh, as we move toward the mid part of the week. Uh, next dose of snow really to impact us. The next chance of measurable snow may be almost a week away. So we, we're still uh, enjoying a fairly quiet spell of weather. If you're hoping for snow, well, at least there's something to talk about. And so it's certainly something that we will be uh, watching, monitoring, and discussing in time. But right now, a quiet, sun-filled day. Temperatures in the 20s. It's 22 in Rochester, Mesa City, 24. Just a few minutes before 8 o'clock here this morning on this Monday. 20 28 in Winona just before uh, about nine minutes before eight I have right now 22 it feels like 13 air pressure is steady here in Rochester throwing the winds not a huge problem now but that will change it was move along through time the winds will pick up heading into the afternoon uh, as uh, the cold front moves through mid part of the day uh, will be the high temperature clouds will gather and we'll see increasing cloud cover for the second half of the day and increasing winds you see those on our day plan are 30 about 31 i think the high around noon and by around sunset it'll be back into the uh, mid and upper 20s sunset 523 today there are some of those high clouds We're watching some very narrow light bands of snow to our north those will stay north North of us, uh, scooting along to the east along that uh, secondary front. The first went through yesterday, second one coming in behind it. Uh, we're going to stay dry, but we'll have clouds and some raw winds tonight and tomorrow. Brisk winds today, colder weather for the midweek, and then we're looking at late week snow chances. Really, it's a very small chance Friday. And at the end of the weekend, uh, at least through Sunday, there's a chance of snowfall for the second half of the weekend. Anyway, that may be something measurable. Uh, temperatures right now in the 20s to around 30 regionally. A couple spots up north even colder. Uh, that's where we're going to be tomorrow, unfortunately. Definitely taking another bite out of those temperatures with the second cold front coming in. But 25 in Duluth, 29 in Sioux Falls, 39 in Kansas City. Here's Futurecast. There comes that cold front. Middle part of the day, the front moves through. Clouds with it. We'll see... Uh, Cloud cover tonight, a blustery night with raw winds at times reaching 25 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, gradual clearing of that cloud cover. It looks like afternoon may feature at least some sunshine with a diminishing breeze. Still kind of a brisk breeze around 15 miles per hour. Uh, high temperatures tomorrow, only barely 20, if that. Uh, it does look like we're going to drop quite a bit from there uh, for Wednesday morning, maybe even close to zero before we slowly recover and see some uh, better temperatures down the road. Snowfall, this is looking at that Friday storm system. This is the GFS about as far out as it goes, and you're not getting a lot out of this. I mean, this is kind of an iffy chance anyway at most. Maybe a quarter inch of snowfall is what we're facing out of that Friday system. It's one on Sunday that may bring a few inches of snow that we're going to watch more closely, but that is six days away, and we have a long way before we can really get an idea of what's going to happen there uh, overall. But 31, the high temperature today in Rochester, Algona 29, Albert Lee 30, uh, partly sunny, brisk winds, north winds 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight. Uh, mostly cloudy, blustery, those winds at times 25 miles per hour, 12 degrees the overnight low. And then tomorrow, slowly diminishing winds, gradual clearing, a little bit of sun breaks through in the afternoon. Tomorrow, 19 though, maybe the coldest high temperature of the week. Uh, and uh, that kind of chilly breeze keeps the wind chill in the single digits through much of tomorrow. Uh, looking at the midweek, some cold sunshine. Then we uh, start seeing a chance of snow, a uh, very small chance Friday. Saturday looks okay, but then Sunday, uh, right now this system may bring six or more inches of snowfall. It's a long way off and so far conflicting data we're seeing here some suggests uh, maybe a, a significant snowfall some suggest a uh, lighter amount of snow so that's something we will sort through as we move along through the week in the meantime enjoy today's quiet weather dry weather kind of easy to to settle back into the week after an exciting weekend of groundhog day of course he didn't see his shadow does that mean early spring Hard to say because, you know, he is in Pennsylvania. So sometimes that might mean something for them, something different for us. But right now it looks like we're going to be solidly in winter mode. In the meantime, uh, enjoy today and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.